friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and this is Brianna Shanae, and today, it's your line, it's your line. Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today, we're gonna have a little play date, because I bought a Barbie doll! <laughs> I know, I'm 29 years old, and I'm really, really, really excited about this toy, but, this is not any type of Barbie doll, y'all. She has curly hair. I have never in my childhood life ever had a doll with curly hair that looked anywhere relatively close to me. She even has highlights, just like me. So today I'm gonna do a full unboxing. We're gonna talk about this doll. We're gonna talk about how important it is to have dolls like this, and um, I'm really excited. I got this Barbie doll from Walmart. I ordered it online during all the Black Friday sales, so I think I got it for like $19, but now it's back up to its normal price, which is $29.88, but available in stores and online at Walmart. So I'm gonna open this up right now for the first time. Ooh, there's instructions. There she is! I forgot how much they strap in these Barbie dolls. Remember those little twisty things on the back? I used to hate those growing up. Yo, this is ridiculous. How is a kid supposed to get this out? I'm an adult and I'm struggling right now. Oh, and the bottom. All right, we're almost there, people. We're almost there. Look at this. I just want to play with my toy. You know, I don't want to play anymore. Come on! Three years later. Here she is! Oh, isn't she cute? Look at her curls! Ooh, she is moisturized. Okay, but look, look what the back of the box did to her hair. You see, you gotta have a satin lined box. Let's shake her out. She got a little flat in the box there. Wow, her hair is actually really soft. She has very similar curls to mine. She's definitely like a 3B, maybe 3C. But that box, girl, that box did you wrong. This Barbie definitely deep conditions once a week. She moisturizes, she uses a leave-in when necessary. Let's see what else is in the box. Inside you also get, wow, why is everything so taped together? All right, so in the accessories, looks like we get 25 different pieces. We get, my favorite thing in the box, is this little Barbie water bottle! Oh! <laughs> this is so Barbie can refresh her curls. We all use a water bottle. Oh, this, this is actually functioning too. I might use this. The next item in here is actually some Barbie hair gel. Girl, what kind of gel are you using? Is this silicone free? They also give us a little curly barrette. I don't know where you're supposed to add this. I guess if she just needs one random extension, <laughs> maybe some pretend bangs, maybe it's for us. I don't really know what this is for. And most importantly, there's a little Barbie pick. Now we could fix this hair. We could pick it out, make it even bigger, get her some volume. This is so important. I am really glad that they included a comb and a pick instead of a brush because I would definitely send the wrong message to girls with curly hair because we don't use a brush, especially when our hair is dry. So very good job to whoever made that decision. This is just another reason why it's so important to have people of color working in the workplace like Barbie so they know to add something like a water bottle, squirt bottle, or a pick instead of like a brush. Look, just like us curly girls, She's got that one curl that doesn't want to act right. Don't worry, girl, I will hook you up. Let's do a quick little diva cut, shall we? Perfect. Dry cuts will always get the job done. Let's examine this Barbie a little bit more, shall we? So she does have a headband on. The headband does come off. So then your little daughter watching, she could now wear the headband. Let's see if I could wear it. Oh, yes. I think that's what I want to do. I don't know if this little scrunchie is going to do it, but we're going to try. It's just going to be a once around type of thing. 
pulling it through. Oh yes, pineapple! And her cut kind of made it like a little mohawk too. Oh, she's cute. I don't know what you're doing for the rest of the day, but um, I'm busy. Okay, girl, so I don't know who did your color, but it's a little uh, patchy in the front. You know, there's a, lot, there's a lot going on here. Not too much color in the back, but luckily we could add some more color. So I'm gonna grab the hair gel, even though it's not gel, they should have called it hair color. I'm gonna apply a little bit to my pretend rubber applicator that's not even a bristle. Wow, this is bright. I hope you wanted some very bright color because that's what you're getting. So I don't know, let's do some Pintura highlights, shall we? Let's just grab, you know, whatever piece is calling me, like this one, and let's just start painting some color. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is great, girl. I hope you wanted neon pink because that's what you're getting. So there's her new neon pink highlights that I gave her. I mean, I'm no professional, guys. This is DIY. I don't know why she chose pink, but you know, whatever she wants. All right, now according to the instructions, warm water will make her nails look more of a dramatic pink, and the cold ice water will make her nails a natural pink. So I've got some warm water. Do you like crystal gel? You look pretty like model, something pretty. You want hand massage? Five dollar more. This side is the hot pink color you get with an icy water, and this is the light pink color you get with warm water. Okay, girl, so now your nails are done. We're gonna let those dry, okay? We're gonna put those away, put you back in your little natural pose. So overall, do I recommend the Barbie Color and Style Deluxe Head for your child? Yes, 100%. I am now 29 years old, and this is the first time I've ever had a curly-haired Barbie that relatively looks like me. Back in my day, wow, maybe I am getting old. We had three options. We had the regular Barbie, who was white and blonde. Then we had Teresa, who was the brunette, possibly Latina. And then we had the black Barbie, Chelsea, who also had straight hair. So little Bianca probably was thinking, well, I'm not just white like mom, and I'm not just black like dad, I'm a mix of both, and I'm this like light brown color, pretty much like Teresa. And the Latina Teresa was the only option that I guess I felt like really represented me. So the fact that we are finally branching out from just three types of people and having now different hair options is great. I do think it's taken way too long, but I will take the progress. Hopefully moving forward, we will also see a Latina doll with curly hair, maybe a lighter skin version of this with curly hair, maybe blonde curls, maybe redhead curls. Like between emojis and Barbies, there needs to be a quicker change. Now I don't have any children of my own yet, but what I do, I definitely plan on getting dolls that represent and look like my daughter. Having this curly hair, we could do so many fun hair days and lessons from just having a doll with curly hair. She'll then know to use a pick for volume and a wide tooth comb instead of a brush. She'll know that she does not need to wash her curls every day. She could just refresh with her spritzer spray water bottle. We'll also probably be doing group deep conditioning treatments with Barbie. We'll get a little shower cap, put some pretend deep conditioner on her, let it sit for 20 minutes. I would also teach my daughter that it's very important for Barbie and her to put her hair up into a pineapple when she sleeps so that her hair is nice in the morning. Now this is a lot of hair, so we're probably gonna have to use one of mommy's scrunchies. But we're gonna wrap this around one full time. Oh, she's so cute. Yes, 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 yes. And that is how we sleep. Oh. There's so many great lessons you could teach your kids with this doll. This video is not sponsored by Barbie, but Barbie, if you are watching, call me, because I definitely have some more curly hair ideas for you. But I do recommend that you guys buy a curly hair doll for your kids. So now I really want to start a curl talk conversation down below in the comments. 
What do you guys think of this curly Barbie doll? Would you have wanted a curly doll growing up? Would you get one of these for your kids? Do your kids have any dolls that do look like them with curly hair? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment box so we can start this conversation. And I really hope that this Barbie sells out. Like maybe if we just continue to buy all these curly dolls, I mean money talks and Barbie's gonna wanna make money. So if curly Barbie is selling out, that's a message. Before you go, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post makeup videos on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sunday. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee for daily curly hair tips. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Look girl, I know you have a busy schedule, but you have all these highlights now. You're gonna have to deep condition. Just 20 minutes once a week, that's all you gotta do. Ken Kuwait, he Kuwait.